Egypt and I'm back again with another thrifting video. Today I'm at Goodwill looking for the same thing as my past two videos so let's see what we find. I never have good luck in this one but I haven't been here in a while so maybe I will have good luck and 50% off great tags. And it's empty which I love. Welcome back to another thrift with me. We're gonna start in the jean section. I always end up in the jean section first, but it's really not on purpose. It just usually is in the front of the store, at least in Goodwills. First thing I saw was a pair of True Religion, but they were skinny jeans. I don't really like skinny jeans. And they were $7. If you watch my other videos, the other store that I like to go to always has True Religion jeans for $25. Like never fails, no matter what the condition is or what it looks like, it's always 25. And here it's seven. So that just goes to show that you know that's a good price for the jeans and it shouldn't be $25 okay that's my spiel on true religion jeans I honestly didn't find any jeans that I absolutely loved or like took time to really look at the detail of them so you guys can just enjoy the little time lapse of me going through all these jeans I'm also not really looking for jeans because I have so many I unpacked my clothes and oh my gosh I have so many jeans and a lot of them don't even fit me right it's just that I really like them so I just keep them and I, I literally don't even wear them which is so bad but I think it would be cool to do like a low-rise jean collection or like a thrifted jeans collection because I have so many jeans that I could show you guys so just let me know if that would be something that you guys would be interested in and the reason why I say low-rise jeans collection is because I like all of my jeans low-rise so pretty much all of them are going to be low-rise Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video, but I quickly just wanted to talk about our sponsor for today, which is Phi2 Eyeglasses. This is actually one of the pairs of glasses that I got from their website, and I absolutely love them. Ironically, my old glasses, the ones that you see in this video, broke literally like a day or two after this package came, so I think it was just meant to be. But anyway, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit of details about this website, and also show you guys some of the lenses that I got. So obviously this is the first pair and one of the things that I really love about my new glasses is that I feel like I can wear them with any outfit and they won't ruin the outfit. I have this thing where when I'm going out and stuff like that, I always feel like I need to put in contacts. But with these, I feel like they'll really like go with a lot of things. And I'll insert some pictures of outfits that I've worn so far with these glasses and the other glasses that I'm about to show you. Also, and I'll have more information in the description box, as well as my 15% off coupon code, which is Egypt15, if you decide that you wanna get yourself a pair of glasses. Also, another thing is that these are prescription lenses, and which is chef's kiss, because a girl has like, I think I have negative four vision. These are the next glasses that I got that I'm gonna try on. They're so cute. See, it's just like a whole nother vibe. I, I love these glasses with black outfits. It just brings everything together. And these, to me, are like the glasses that you see the Pinterest girls wearing for fake. But these are real. Like These have my prescription in them. I use them to see, but they also look like really, really fashionable, in my opinion. I love these. I think they go with a lot of my outfits. Just like the other one, I will insert some pictures of outfits that I wore with these glasses so that you guys can get some inspo and just to show that you don't gotta wear contacts when you put on a cute outfit. The next pair that I got are these. They're more of a tortoise. And I love the little gold. I feel like that adds like a more like classy, sophisticated look. Yeah, this gives me like going to the library vibe, going to class vibes. Makes me look smarter, in my opinion. These make me look like I read books every day and I don't. <laughs> yeah, they're all just so cute though. And they have my prescription and I'm pretty sure they're blue light. Like if you can see like the green glare, I'm pretty sure they're blue light. And they're inexpensive, so I definitely recommend them. They have so many different styles. They have rounded, they have smaller frames. Just like the prescription lenses, you can actually get prescription in the sunglasses. I don't have prescription in these, so yeah. But usually when I wear sunglasses, honestly, I be wearing them at night. And most of the time when I go out at night, I have contacts on or I just like to wear them as an accessory on my head like this and I'll have contacts in so I can actually <laughs> see but either way they're so super cute and I love like the it just makes me look like a rich a rich girl 
from the valley so yeah if you're not interested in sunk eyeglasses you can get them with or without prescription if you don't care for that but you want some cute sunglasses they got it look at these they got cute sunglasses so check out five two if you're interested i'll have all the information needed on the screen and in my description we took these shades off <laughs> let's get back into our regularly scheduled programming thank you five two for sponsoring this video The next section we're in is the skirt section. Yeah, they didn't really have that many skirts, especially in my size. So I didn't really find anything that caught my eye. I thought those were kind of cute, the brown corduroy. And then these remind me of like 2015 era. And this was also a pretty cute one, but just was my size. And I love this one, but it also wasn't my size. Now for the pants section, also not that much stuff here, but I thought the zipper on the back of that was so cool. And the sparkly gold in this jeans was really cool. And then I found like some regular black cargo type pants, but they were not my size. Also in the shoe section, I didn't really find anything that caught my eye really. No bags either. I don't really love those. I just thought it would be something you guys would appreciate seeing. And now for the tops. I found a lot of tops, but I didn't get a lot of tops. When I go thrifting, like this off the shoulder shirt, for example, that just gives 2000s era. Like this is something that somebody donated from their old wardrobe. You know, that's what I want to see when I go thrifting. I don't want to see new stuff like from Shein and Forever 21 and H&M and all those places. I want to see stuff that's like true vintage, like someone's old clothes. That's what I want. And I feel like when I went here, I did find a lot of those type of style of clothing, like someone's old clothes that they just didn't want anymore so yeah I really appreciated it And then I found this in the top section, right? Well, you'll see. This is like literally the most perfect thing for my theme right now. And then I showed this because it was funny. I feel like anything with an American flag on it is so tacky. Like other countries, when they put their flag or their colors on a shirt, it looks really cool. But something about the American flag just is just so tacky to me, okay? To me. I want an off the shoulder fold over sweater like that, but that just wasn't really the one, you know? And this is another example of something that somebody donated from their like really old wardrobe. You can tell that it's not of this time, it's of another time. And I love that, even though I wasn't gonna get it, I just still thought it was cool. Same with this top. And then I found someone's like old gymnastics outfit, which I thought was kind of cool. And it gave me inspiration to make some things like it. Not necessarily exactly like it, but similar to it. So let's move on to the long sleeves. Seen this Tommy Hilfiger sweater shirt thing, but I don't know, it's not really I love. And this is an example of something that someone donated that's new still, which I don't like seeing. I really love that black top. I think it's perfect. And this is a fairly new top. I feel like it's pretty, it's still pretty popular, this style. And I think it's from UNIF. Correct me if I'm wrong.
Then I seen this guess off the shoulder sweater, which I thought was so cute. It had sparkly threads in it and it was like perfect for our theme today. So I had to try that on. Now we're just skimming. Later into my thrift trips, I start skimming. Like in the beginning, I'll slide through one by one, but then eventually I get tired and I just start skipping through. But I feel like that's with anyone. Also in one of my previous thrift with me videos, someone said that they saw, I think they either said a $200 pair of jeans or a $400 pair of jeans in my video. And I was like, oh my gosh, I wish I knew that. Like honestly, when I saw it, I wish I knew that that was like an expensive pair of jeans. So maybe I need to up my knowledge on clothes because I could have made a bag if I resold it. I wouldn't resell it for like the original price, but I would resell it for a pretty good price if that's what it's worth, you know? You know what would be, would be cool though? Like a live thrift with me so you guys can like comment and stuff like that. I think that would be cool. I love seeing stuff with tags on it. It's just so interesting how someone will donate something that they never even wore. I didn't find a lot in the jacket section, but there's some stuff worth showing you because it kind of fits into like my theme. Also, I don't know if that tag said Mosimo or Moschino. Let me know if you know. And I love the silhouette of this jacket. It was just in terrible condition and it was thin, but I love like that thick waistband and the thick collar and the thick like arm cuff sleeves. I think that's so cute. And now we're in the kids section and this is the moment when I wish that my brothers or someone in my family had a baby. Not me, but somebody else because I would drip that baby out so much. Like, did you see that jacket? It was so cute. And then I saw this Juicy Couture cheetah print sweater. Oh my gosh. And then this little jacket is so cute. Like, I don't want a baby. I want someone in my family to have a baby so I could just buy them clothes. And now lingerie. I say this in all my videos. If you watch most of these videos that I make, I love just looking at the lingerie section. I never really buy anything unless I see something that I'm like, I absolutely need that. But just looking is really fun to me. So you guys can enjoy this clip. And now to the fitting room where I experienced one of the most disgusting things I've ever experienced while thrifting. First, the guest sweater shirt thingy. It was really itchy and it was so hard to get in. Also, I had to prop up my phone flashlight because it was dark in this room. Then I tried on these low rise corduroy navy blue pants that I found. They fit me perfectly, but I just didn't really feel like I needed them because I already have so many pants. So I have to be like really picky. And this is my it fits happy dance. Then I tried on these Levi jeans. I'm pretty sure they're boys because like you can tell when pants are boys by the way they fit your butt. And this just gave like very SpongeBob SquarePants vibes and the waist was too big. So obviously did not get that one. Then the top that I found, I decided that I think it would be a hundred times cuter as a skirt and I was definitely correct. Like, it's so perfect as a skirt. It has little to no give, so yeah, but I think it's gonna be so cute when I put together my Y2K winter looks, which is gonna be my next video. I'm gonna combine all the stuff that I bought throughout these three videos, the three part series, and I'm just gonna do outfits and a haul. Can't wait, cause it's gonna slay, okay? I'm gonna slay the day away.
Then I found this little khaki mini skirt with the embellishments on the pockets. So adorable and it fits me so perfectly. I love when that happens. Like it's just, it just makes my day when things fit me because it's very rare that things do fit me. And I love the little slanted back pockets on the skirt. I think that's so adorable. But yeah, so cute. Feeling myself, obviously. Then I found this top, but it didn't have the strings. So yeah, I thought it would be cool for like New Year's and that's really it. I wouldn't really wear it any other time. So I'm kind of happy that I didn't get it because it would be a waste. Then here's the long sleeve black top, which if you guys watch Arissa and Julie, I hope I didn't butcher her name. This top reminds me of her. Love her, love her videos too. If you're watching this Arissa, hey. And lastly, the most disgusting thing I've ever put on my body. Tell me why I was trying this on, right? And I'm like, bro, why does it smell like pee in this fitting room? I thought it was a fitting room that smelled like pee. It was the dress. The dress most definitely had pee on it. And I literally scrubbed myself so hard when I got home. Um, Maybe my skin was peeling. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't because, wow, I was so disgusted when I figured out that I had this dress on and it was the reason why it smelled like pee, yeah. Don't need a tomorrow. Gonna be what I'm